Could you comment on your uh, directing style in terms of working with actors, how you prepare, and also any uh, experiences that you can share in terms of being able to get the quality of performance that we see in the actors? And how much is it on casting versus, versus what Honestly, you do on set? Honestly, it's mostly casting. It's really mostly casting, um, having very high standards. There's no, you know, this, you may have heard some fantasy idea of, you know, I'll make them good. That's not possible. You know, someone's either fabulous or they're not. And then my role is to guide them and give them information. You know, I may give them a whole uh, history of the character, you know, as particularly since I write, I could tell you what happened from the day they were born until, you know, like, you know, 20 years after this. Um, so I will give them that information, which really helps them, like, what helps the, the actors uh, with what their relationship is. What's the relationship of the sisters? What's, um, so I will give them a lot of guidance in that, a lot of background information. And then as we're working, uh, rehearsals are very, rehearsals for films in general are very brief. Um, you don't need the same kind of rehearsal time you need for a play where everything is in the dialogue. You know, all the meetings in the dialogue. This is very different. So, uh, uh, I'll work on the dialogue they, with them. Something they, that I've written may sound terrible, uh, or they feel uncomfortable with it, or will realize that a scene is not working in a particular way, that uh, the way it was written, um, it's, it's missing the point of what I needed to do. Um, so it becomes a give and take in the rehearsal stage. And, um, and then when we're shooting, um, uh, you know, I make a whisper in their ears to give them some guidance. Um, never, ever, ever give a line reading. That's an insult, it's really. There are some directors who do it. I think it's appalling. Um, uh, and just, you know, I'm in awe of them, and so they always feel safe and happy. <laughs> That's my, you know, my, my main goal is to make them feel safe so they can jump off a cliff if they need to. Tell us about your new movie. Um, I only nine years. Uh, I just finished a film called Sophie and the Rising Sun, which I hope you'll get to see in 2016. Uh, it's based on a novel. Uh, it's set in a small town in the south in the months before Pearl Harbor, and um, a Japanese American man arrives in the town under mysterious circumstances. And he's taken in by a wealthy woman in the town. And uh, when he begins working with her, he begins to have a secret romance with the town spinster. And then Pearl Harbor happens. And uh, at the same time as their romance is revealed, and they have to figure out how to keep him alive. And uh, again, it's four women, uh, uh, four main characters who are women. I have a gorgeous cast, uh, Margot Martindale, Julianne Nicholson, Lorraine Toussaint, and Diane Ladd. Um, it's uh, more goddesses coming your way in 2016. And uh, so, you know, it's a story about racism and, and uh, war. Can't wait to see it. Wish you every I success. I can't wait for you to see it. <laughs> Great. You especially. <laughs> Let's thank Peggy Greenwald.